Aging, Social Security, and the Intergenerational Debate Part 1. The material standard of living in a nation ultimately depends on the stock of your goods and services that the nation commands and its ability to access them. Over time, productivity growth provides the means for improving standards of living because it provides a nation with a greater stock of goods and services for a given effort. When we consider this matter becomes more complicated. In a market economy, where goods and services are exchanged for money, the non-government sector's ability to command goods and services depends not only on availability, but also on the sector's capacity to finance purchases. For the government sector, the ability to command goods and services which are for sale in the currency that it issues depend only on the availability of those resources. That is a fundamental difference which should inform our understanding of the aging population issue, which is one of the major debates in macroeconomics because of its implications for fiscal, governments will run out of money and other public policy choices. The aging society debate is at the forefront of calls to reduce government spending deficits. The proposition is that national governments will not be able to afford to maintain the SPE ding necessary to support the growing demands for medical care and pension support as their population ages. At some point, the argument goes, government will run out of money and other public spending programs will become heavily compromised. Some economists support this narrative by advancing arguments about so-called financing gaps which are attempts to extrapolate future drains on public spending in relation to the projected scale of the economy.